like so many uh, moms, our next guest has a lot of titles, okay? <laughs> Author, podcast host, acting consultant. She's also raised two showbiz kids. I mean. Hollywood singing coach Claire Hosterman and actress and singer Dove Cameron. Take a look at this. I mean, that is her daughter, Dove, <laughs> who is known for shows like Liv and Maddie, Schmigadoon, and the Descendants movies. Joining us now is a superwoman, big old S on her chest, <laughs> Mom Bonnie Wallace. Good morning, oh, Bonnie. Good morning. Bonnie. <laughs> good morning. I'll answer to anything that sounds like Bonnie. Probably. <laughs> Talk about a month of, of celebrating and spotlighting incredible women. You are absolutely one of them. Thank you. Um, what is the what, what is the winning formula? Is there one? Did, did you plan this? To have amazing children, yeah, yeah. children Just that like, are successful in the business. Check, check, check. <laughs> My children are amazing. I'm incredibly yes. proud of them. Um, I think part part of the critical thing of, of being successful in the business mm -hmm. for a child is number one to make sure the child is driving it, yes. and it's not the parent pushing; it's the child pulling. That's probably the number one most important thing because a lot of parents are like, "This would be so cool," and they're sort of projecting it on their kids and right. they're like nudging them in there. Yeah. That will never ultimately be good for anybody, right? So you want to make sure you're on the right side of that. Secondly, you want to you want to educate yourself so you understand how the industry really works. Because mm -hmm. the more you understand about it as a parent, the better choices you can make for your children. Yeah. And, and that's really critical as you wade into the business because it's a business. Absolutely. So help us understand that, right? Because when so every parent's going to think their child has talent and is the most talented kid Smartest. in the room. Right? So when did you notice <laughs> that there was something maybe set them apart and that there was that interest that they wanted to go in that way? Well, you know, every family has its passions and its yeah. interests, right? Like my <laughs> brother's family is all about the sports, and so that's right. what their kids do. And, and a lot of it is about what are you exposed to, right? Mm -hmm. So in, in my household, my kids were exposed to the arts. And so it right. wasn't like a big stretch to be surprised that, oh my gosh, they love to act and sing. Yeah. And they're, they're pretty good at it, mm -hmm. you know? But I think it was when Dove in particular just didn't want to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Like, you do the things, you, you give them the t-ball lessons and the soccer and whatever. It's like all she wanted to do was theater. And then after some years of that, all of her mentors were pulling me aside and saying, She's really got the gift. You should take this seriously. Yeah. And I thought, okay, it's not just me then. Right. That helps. So have right. some objective outside opinion is helpful. Yeah, right. absolutely. And once you've kind of decided that your child is is pulling, you're not the one projecting on them, what is the first way to introduce them into the business? Acting classes, we were having a conversation with our coworker who was talking about paying like $1,500 yeah. for headshots. Talk about the research, That's right? too much. <laughs> right, right. Red flag. Yeah. Red flag. But how do you safely go about introducing them into the business? Well, that's a good question. Again, that goes to educating. Mm -hmm. So, you know, read books, right. read blogs, listen to podcasts, so you understand what's normal, what's not normal. Right. Um, I think acting classes are a really important thing. You know, um, most actors will swear that they've been critical to their success. Mm -hmm. Now, some kids learn by doing, so if that's the case, and the classes aren't really the thing for them, get them involved in your local theater. Mm -hmm. that, that's what Dove right. did primarily. But make sure that they mm -hmm. have a chance to learn how to do it, because if you want them to be able to compete professionally, and like be a professional actor, if that's really what they want, they're competing right. with people who do have training. Right. You know, so you want to give them that I don't know that 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 ammo that yes. they, they want it. You want to give them a fair shot at it, don't right. you? Yeah, absolutely. And you yeah. talk about this uh, a, a lot on your uh, these topics and in, in the topics of showbiz on your podcast, mm -hmm. right? So, what was the inspiration behind it, and, and, and what's it even called? Um, the podcast is called Hometown to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of it. It's got 132 episodes. It's six years worth of interviews wow. um, with people who are at the top of their game in the industry. And I learned something every time I did one of those podcast yeah. interviews. And, and I think it might be objectively the best sort of all-round resource for people right. who really want to learn how it works. Yeah. I do really recommend it. Good. Yeah. In addition to the podcast, you have another project that was actually inspired by your family history, We Can Books and an app to accompany it. How did that idea come about? Well, when my daughter Claire mm -hmm. was ready to learn how to read when she was about four, my dad wanted to do something really special for her. And, and so he researched all the best ways to teach a child how to read, like what really works. And everything kept pointing to phonics, right? So my dad's innovation was to combine our family photos 
oh, wow. with the phonics so that my daughters were just completely engaged. Like, so on the, on the first page of the first book, there's like the word set cat, mat, hat, sat, that, mm -hmm. that, rat, right? And it's the kid and the family cat. And it's like, that's me, that's my cat. Right. And right. so it, it's incredibly emotionally engaging. Our innovation was taking my dad's brilliant idea and bringing it into the 21st century. We've created an app mm -hmm. that you can download. Doesn't matter what kind of phone you've got. It's mm -hmm. out there on the app yeah. stores. And take your own family photos, combine them with our proven phonics program, and create these beautiful books that will give a child a real head start in yeah, learning how to read. Like yeah, that. here, there's, That's awesome. these are these are real books created by some of our beta testers. Wow. So, right, so you have like the, the, the individual picture, child yeah. on the cover and then everything inside is based off of what that child and the pictures that they uploaded. Yeah, right. fully, fully personalized. Like it's them in their house, in their world. That's, a that's me right there, just taking a yeah. nap. <laughs> that's literally, that. <laughs> that's amazing. And so you can drag in the app. Oh you build gosh. the books in the app and you can drag and drop the relevant word onto yeah. the page. You can build these books quite quickly. If yeah. there's a if there's a word set, you're like, I don't know, what word do I use? Yeah. We have a beautiful photo preloaded for you. Wow. What's awesome. the reception been to the books in the app? And People love them. Yeah. Because they're just so fun. Yeah. And they really work because they're so engaging. Right. Great oh, gifts. That is seriously. Yeah. That is awesome. Bonnie, Thank you. what a pleasure to mm -hmm. talk to you. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Great job with the books and the apps and all of your accomplishments, your amazing children. Her weekend book app is available on Apple and Android, wherever you get your apps, like she yeah. said. Bonnie, thank you so much. Thanks so much.